So when was the last time somebody in the family said, boy, let's go out this weekend for Peruvian food? Uh -huh. Gotcha, right? Well, I'll tell you this. On Take 5 for Foodies here on KTAR.com, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take five for Peruvian food and to introduce all the foodies to Peruvian food is Fatima Campos from Incas Peruvian Restaurant. Yes, sir. Now, this is the part on television where you get to jump in and tell everybody where it is. We are in Scottsdale, North Scottsdale, 7325 East Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard, Suite 104. And that's in uh, the, the shopping areas of the on promenade. The promenade, yes. Yeah, the promenade. Right, right in the corner facing uh, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard. Yes, Street. and so go in and uh, just find a parking space, and then look for a whole bunch of happy people who are coming out with ceviche on their mouth. Huh? Of course. <laughs> okay, is that is that the national dish of Peru, ceviche? Ceviche is a Peru's ambassador. So very proud to be able to serve the best ceviche in Incas. And we also introduce in the Pisco Sour, which is the Peru Signature. So we have Peru Ambassador and the Peru Signature. Okay, so that's a food, that's a beverage. We'll get to the beverages in just a moment. I promise you, I always get to the beverages. <laughs> but I want to find out what ceviche is made out of. It seems to me every time I pick up a menu like yours at Incas, uh, that there's a whole column, a whole list of different kinds of ceviche. Different kinds of ceviche, different kinds of seafood, because Peru has a big variety of seafood. Well, what so, is ceviche to begin with? It's not just a bunch of seafood. Ceviche, it could be either just fish or you can make a combination. In our restaurant, the ceviche mixto is the most popular because we have all kinds of seafood and uh, that people just love to have you know, a little bit into it besides the seafood and the fish, the corn, that's very impressed. We imported it straight out from Peru. The corn is big, the grains are different, and we make a nice combination with the sweet potato. All right, but ceviche itself, in order to be ceviche, you have seafood and then there's citrus. Exactly, ceviche, the key of the ceviche, it has to be marinated with a fresh lime juice. We squeeze the lime juice right there so that can be marinated. But the key for our ceviche and everywhere in Peru is the rocoto. Okay. Rocoto is a red Peruvian pepper and it has a very unique taste. It could be spicy or it could be unspicy. I'm very lucky because the person that I have in Incas, he's an international chef and he's from Peru, and he graduated from Cordon Bleu. So he knows very well how to cut the labels or the spiciness. So you can ask for a very spicy ceviche, and we make it. You can ask for a mild or low, and we, we are able to, do, to use the, the rocoto in different categories. And if you happen to ask for corn, and they come out with something that looks like this, it's still corn, I promise you, even though you may never have seen anything as purple as this. And out of this comes this. Tell me about this drink, Fatima. This beautiful drink. This is very healthy. It calls chicha morada. We made it in house at Incas. It takes us about seven hours of labor. What we do is we put it in, um, in the big container, okay, broil for six hours, the pulpor corn. We use the, um, fresh pineapples, apples and cinnamon, and then we let it broil, broil, broil. When we get to the point to this color, we squeeze the juice before it gets fermented. So it's natural, it's very healthy, it has a lot of antioxidants. People just love it. It's, it's very, very delicious, uh, very okay. refreshing. Now listen, we, I promised we would get to the other beverage. Just leave it where it is so that we can just truly enjoy the appearance of the Pisco Sour, that is another Peruvian ambassador, right? Peru's What's Pisco? signature. Pisco is a liquor made from fermented grapes. We imported a Pisco straight out from Peru that uh, it comes from the vineyards in Ica, Peru. We are very proud 
to be exclusive at Incas with the Pisco Porton. Just give me a couple of extra dishes here, because if people have never been to a Peruvian restaurant, it's amazing how many different kinds of things that you can order that you probably have never had before. Just a couple of dishes that you can think of right off the top of your head. Pescado lo macho. What is that? It's a mahi-mahi grill underneath. We saute all kinds of seafood, and we add the three main ingredients from Peru, which is the ají amarillo, yellow Peruvian pepper, the rocoto, red pepper, and the dry pepper, ají panca. So we mix all those three sauces on, uh, between the salty seafood, we put it on top of the mahi mahi, and it's amazing good. And we serve with the uh, jasmine rice on the side. Okay. It's very delicious. We have time for one more dish. Lomo saltado is a tenderloin. We saute it with red onions, parsley, tomato. We serve on top of the fries, so all the juices from the meat goes down to the fries, and we put again a jasmine rice on the side. Very delicious. Oh, listen. Uh, and Remarkably, they can do magic with things as basic and as simple as potatoes. And that's why this Irishman has learned to love Peruvian food, especially the way they prepare it at Incas, at the promenade in North Scottsdale. This is Take Five for Foodies. Please visit us. <laughs>